one of those years to learn to say ventriloquist. Did I say it? You said it very good. Hey, I love that hat, Miss Santa Claus. It's beautiful. I almost bought one of those. I said, well, maybe when they go on sale, you know? So I'm Dean, and I have a few puppets, or dummies, and they're friends of mine. See, I don't have a lot of friends in high places. I don't know about you, but I have a few in suitcases. And since you don't want to hear me talk, why don't I bring one of my friends out, okay? Let's see, who should I bring out? Ah, maybe GP. Out right now. Wow. Ooh. Wow, is that hot in that box? So hot in there. Well, it's pretty cold out. Pretty nice to be warm, isn't it? Not when you wear this fur coat all year round. <laughs> I see what you mean. This is GP. Don't my friends call me G? G. Hi, how are you? Hi, G. 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 What girl? Next to this is Santa Claus. <laughs> what about her? What's her name? Sierra. 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 Sierra Desert. No, not Sierra Desert. I don't know her last name. She has a wonderful... I know it. Uh, she has a great shirt on, doesn't she? Her shirt? <laughs> What's so great about your sh her shirt? I know. It's my favorite color. <laughs> Oh, of course, of course. The, the fast ones have figured it out. Dean's still trying to figure it out. <laughs> he loves purple. What was your first clue, huh? <laughs> TV, please. Oh, I'm having fun. I love Christmas, yeah. Oh! Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, what a hangout. Oh Christmas tree, 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 oh Christmas What was that for? You see, there are more words to that song, that lovely Christmas song, than oh Christmas tree. Well, none that I know. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Do you have any suggestions? Yes. Sing a Christmas song that you know all the words to. Okay. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, yeah. Oh, Merry Christmas to you. GP, please. That's just the birthday song with uh, Christmas words to it. Now, you can't take a tune from one song, put Christmas words to it, and call it a Christmas carol. Uh, ah, no. What about what child is this? What about what child is this? It's a famous Christmas ca carol. Yeah, but they use the tune of green sleeve. Oh, they use the tune green sleeves for it? Yeah. Well, you're quite knowledgeable, aren't you? What child is this? Da da da, Christmas tree. Uh, no. uh, you want to see me do a magic trick? Yeah. 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 I like kids. Yeah. Oh wait a minute, Gee. Yeah. We didn't practice any magic tricks. <laughs> well, maybe we didn't, but I did. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and go do your trick and we'll get on with the show. Okay. Remember, gang, the foot is faster than the eye. Watch carefully. Uh, in, in magic, I'm sorry, folks, it's the hand is faster than the eye. <laughs> Not in this case? Oh. What's so great about putting your foot in your mouth anyway? What's so great about that? I don't know, but I've seen you do it a lot. <laughs> No, oh, GP is one of these Christmas lovers. I love it. I love, there's a thing about Christmas. I love to eat Christmas cookies. Yeah. You see, GP is a grumpet. Doesn't mean I'm grumpy. No, not unless he doesn't get what he wants to eat. Well, like this year. What about this year? I decorated my tree 
split popcorn chains and cookies, Christmas cookies. <laughs> and that's what it used to look like. What do you mean, used to look like? Until I got hungry, I got hungry, I got hungry. And you ate the popcorn chains and the Christmas cookies? No. <laughs> yeah, it's the only way to go. Oh, I love it. I love Christmas time. Well, what do you think the meaning of, of Christmas is? Christmas, Christmas. It's the time of the year when the stores make 90% of their sales. <laughs> so keep shopping, folks. Keep shopping. And now, wait, wait, wait. Now, the Christmas time really is the time of year that we celebrate one of the greatest gifts of all, the greatest gift of all in my book, and that's the birthday of Jesus Christ. Yeah, that too. <laughs> well, what do you plan to give this year? I plan to give the gift of my voice, yeah. The gift of asthma set to music? No, I said my voice. I know, same thing. Now cut it out. Don't you remember how they love to hear my voice? Who loves to hear your voice? Why, the YMCA. The YMCA? Yeah, last week. The last week? I got a standing ovation for singing. Standing ovation at the YMCA? You did not. They were standing. Yeah, and applauding. There were no chairs in the place. It still counts. Oh, that's silly. Huh? That's silly. Well, you do like, you do like Christmas. And um, what are you thankful for, for this year? Well, since I like a good turkey dinner. Yeah, I know. Don't avoid the, the subject, the question. What are you thankful for? Well, I guess I'm thankful I'm not a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Well, would you like to um, uh, sing a few bars of uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Snow, dear. A reindeer. Snow, darling. <laughs> it's winter. Yeah, but it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, darling, it's really snow. <laughs> Just go ahead and sing it. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> what are you doing? I'm clearing my throat. Oh, good singers clear their throat before they sing, you know. Oh, you're a good singer? No, I'm just clearing my throat. <coughs> oh, sound like more a frog in his throat. Okay, I'm ready. Good. You can sing with me if you like. Would you guys like to stand up and sing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? No, no. Oh, you want to sit and do it? You know, couch potatoes. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very, very long nose, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What? Yeah, you're right. It's a shiny nose, not a very long nose. Hey, and if you ever saw it, you would even say it grows, yeah. No, it doesn't grow. It sure does. It does not. It does, does not. It doesn't grow. All noses grow. And Rudolph's did not grow. It glowed. Now, if you don't get the words right, I'll have... What's your name again? Sean? That's what I thought. Sean. I'll have Sean singing if you can't do it right. I can do it right. I can do it right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, now, you didn't say it, uh, it, uh, glows, glows. All of the other reindeer you used to laugh and call him names, yeah. And they never let poor Rudy eat any candy canes. <laughs> oh, no, it's not eat any candy canes. <laughs> I thought you knew the song. It's... They w he wouldn't let them play in any with any rain in any reindeer games, right? Games. Like Monopoly. Like Monopoly, right? Oh, and one foggy winter's day, who would all said to Santa? No. <laughs> then one Christmas Chris Eve, Santa came to say, right? Rudolph, with your nose all the right, won't you make us all laugh tonight? <laughs> So, yes, come on, guys. Let's stand up and just sing it out as loud as we can and teach GP, okay? Uh, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a very shiny nose like a light bulb. And if you ever saw it, oh, it you would even say it close. Oh, there's a light bulb. Yeah, all of the other reindeer, reindeer used to laugh and call him names like Pinocchio. They never let poor Rudolph, Rudolph, join in any reindeer games like Monopoly. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, 
Santa came to say. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I didn't know that one. With your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Yeah. Then how the reindeer loved him, loved him, as he shouted out with glee. Yippee! Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, reindeer, you'll go down in history. Like Colossians! You'll go down in history. Like Columbus. Very good. Give yourself a hand. Say goodbye to G. P. Let's see. This is Danny. Let's see what Danny will do. Danny That is my brother. Oh my God! Look over there. The hair looks a little flattened. You try to sleep in that suitcase. <laughs> well, well. Well, well, what? Look at all these lovely ladies. Oh, please. Danny, could you, could you say hello? Could you say hello to the guys? The guys? Yes. The guys. I'm going to see the guys. Where'd the guys go? Hello, here. Not here. No, they're not back there. Not outside? They're not outside. Come on, guys. Raise your hands real high. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Don't you see them? Come on. Oh, sorry. My neck got stuck. Guys, you see the guys? The girls got in the way of the guys. That's your problem. Yeah. Well, Dan, isn't it great being Christmas time? Yeah. You know, there's only four more days till Christmas. Do you have my gift yet? Do you have? Do I have your gift? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you want besides everything. I don't want everything. Where would I put it? Well, that's a good question. What do you want this year? A card. A, ca a car? What kind of car? Electric car? No, a card. Card? Yeah, just a card. Like a greeting card? Yeah, you can greet with me with a. Visa credit card. <laughs> I'm not going to get you a Visa credit card. Get real. I mean, there's got to be something else that you want. Then why don't you get a Visa card? Oh, let's see. This year, I know you're poor. Yes, I'm poor. And it's more blessed to give than to receive anyway. That's right. <laughs> it is more blessed to give than to receive. It's, it's a lot of fun to give. Things. Isn't it exciting to give things to somebody and see them get all excited? Yeah. It really is great, isn't it? Yeah. Gives me a lot of pleasure to give something to somebody. Then, hey, give me $10. <laughs> give you $10? Yeah. No, no, no. What? Make it $20 and thoroughly enjoy yourself. <laughs> I'm not going to give you anything. Now, come on. What makes you think you deserve it? I, uh, I don't know. Good question. <laughs> that is a good question. What about your sharing? Your caring? Sharing and caring? Sharing and caring. Sharing and caring are out. This year I want Heather. <laughs> Heather? Yeah. Uh, sharing and caring are out. This year I want Heather and my stocking. Oh, you want Heather and your, her, your stocking, huh? Yeah. Well, what does Heather want for Christmas? She wants something with diamonds in it. Oh my goodness, that sounds serious. Heather wants something with diamonds in it? Yeah. What are you going to get her? A deck of cards. Oh, you, treat... <laughs> you treat all your dates that way, you're not going to get any dates but on a calendar. No, I have all the angles. You have all the angles. Yeah. That's what your teacher said. Who? Mr. Cooper. Oh, Sid. Is his first name Sid? No, but I called him Sid. Why do you call him Sid? <laughs> well, you know, in the Toy Story video, the little Sid is always blowing things. <laughs> yeah, Sid is always blowing things out of proportion. What is your teacher, Mr. Cooper, blowing out of proportion? Well, he seems to think I have to do my homework. Well, of course you have to do your homework. Well, he punishes me for things I don't do. Is that fair? No. Just like Sid. <laughs> it's just, fair. Just like Sid. He punishes you for something you don't do, huh? That's right. What don't you do? My homework. Well, I hope he punishes you if you don't do your homework. How come you don't do your homework? I don't need to go to class. You don't? No. Why not? I pick things up easily. What do you pick up easily? Heather's number in the hallway. <laughs> Heather's number in the hallway? Well, that's not all. What else? Pizza in the cafeteria. Well... What about history, reading, math? These are all excellent things to get you to make money someday, do a little better than I did. That's, that's, uh, 
Well, that's easy to do. <laughs> what about what about you, those subjects? Well, I'm doing as good as say uh, Martin Luther King Jr. and JFK. Oh, John F. Kennedy. Yeah. You're doing as good as they did in these classes. In one class. What class? History. Why do you say that? They went down in history, and so am I. <laughs> Well, when they went down in history, that means they were popular. If you go down in history, that means you're failing. Well, there's a reason for that. What's the reason? Sid. What's, what, you mean Mr. Cooper? Yeah, he, uh, he uh, grades me on things I know nothing about. Is that fair? Did you ever think that maybe he grades you on things you know nothing about because you don't listen? Listen? What'd you say? See? See, you gotta listen to your teacher. Listen? Yeah, and you know what happens if you don't listen to your teacher and do what's required? What? <coughs> what, do you, what do you think, Sean? Well, I think you get in big trouble. Oh, yeah, you get in big trouble. Mm -hmm. And you know who you might get in big trouble with? Uh, your parents, the teacher, or the principal. You're right. And Santa Claus. Santa Claus! Ah! <coughs> Why? What does Santa Claus bring you if you're not good? That's right. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, shoot! I already have a cold. No, cold. No, a coal. Coal? Yeah. What is he? Santa Claus is a coal miner? No, Santa, Santa Claus is not a coal miner. Santa Claus is, he, he just brings you a lump of coal. He doesn't bring you any presents if you can't listen to your teachers, your parents, and do what's required when they ask you to do something. It's a very important to obey. Now, what you need in school is to be motivated. Like what? Well, you maybe you need some ambition. Where do I get it? The Rite Aid drugstore? No, no. You don't get ambition from the Rite Aid drugstore. Think about what you'd like to be for a living. Like what? Well, you think about it. What, what do you think you'd like to be? Rich. Well, then you better study, huh? Well, I, uh, uh let's see. I want to be, uh, 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 what would you like to be when you reach maturity? Reach where? Maturity. Oh, I, I, uh, I'll never get there. Why do you say that? But isn't that some island in the South Pacific? No, it's not some island in the South Pacific. Maturity is becoming an adult, growing up. What do you want for a vocation? Oh, I think I'd love to go to California. Yeah, surf on those highways. Uh, what, <coughs> what about the vocation? Vocation? I thought you said vacation. No, no, vocation. What's that? See, now if you went to school, you'd know what maturity is. You'd know what vocation is. Vocation is a job. Job. Yeah, work. Work. Whoa. Yes. That's a four letter word. I know. And we all have to work in order to make ends meet. We all have to work to get pleasure out of life and to make something out of ourselves. What would you like to do? I, uh, I want to, uh, 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 I want to be a professional, professional, well, why don't you think about it for a while, okay? Does anybody here know what they want to be when they grow up? Yeah, what, what would you like to do? <laughs> he just raised his hand. I know, I want to be a doctor. A doctor? Well, then you have to go to a school a lot. Oh. Why do you want to be a doctor? Because they have the best motto. What's their motto? The best things in life are fees. High fees. <laughs> High fees, huh? Yeah. What do you want to be? Video game tester. Oh, that's a great game, huh? A great job. Video game tester. How about you? A nurse. A nurse. That's a high profession. That's great. How about you? You want to be a nurse, too? What'd you say? Archaeologist. Archaeologist. That's what my son wants to be. Yeah. You want to know your science and your math? How about you? Uh, an actress. An actress. Wow. You're going to want to study communications, arts. And also know your English for writing and, and memorization techniques. And, and it would be helped to know your... Never mind. We're not in school. We're on vacation. <laughs> You're right. We're on Christmas vacation, aren't we? Isn't it great to be on Christmas vacation? Yeah. You know, it, it really bothers me, um, Danny, that you... Uh, your history is... It, There's school again. Yeah, but when I was a student, I got straight A's in history. When you were a student, they hadn't written history yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. Is there anything that you've done well this year? Yeah, I got a, I got a perfect score on a test last week. Wow, that's great. A perfect score on a test last week? Yeah. That's great. He hasn't gotten a perfect score in I don't know how long. Give Danny a hand. Thank you.
What was the, what was the test on? It was the hearing test in the nurse's office. <laughs> the hearing test? Yeah, but I studied all night for it. You studied all night. Get out of here. I know. <laughs> are, are there any tests in history or math or... Yeah. How about reading? Yeah. Did you do well on them? Yeah, I did. I got a 100. Oh, wow, you got a 100? Yeah. I got a 50 on spilling and a 50 on arithmetic. Yeah. No, you can't get a 50 in one class and a 50 in another have it add up to 100. 50 and 50 is 100. You need to take a nap course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, anyway, you know you, you've got to be good. Let, let, let me give you a little test before we go to make sure that Santa Claus is going to bring you something good. Oh, he will. I have faith in him. Okay. But if you want Heather in your stocking. Yeah. Well, then you better be good in school, right? So let's see if you've learned anything. Okay. I'll give you a little test. Test? That's a four-letter word. Yeah, well, okay, quiz. Quiz? That's a kitchen count. <laughs> okay, it's another four-letter word. Well, then I'll, I'll just give you a little exam. That's better. Give me easy answers. Easy answers? Yeah. You mean easy questions? No. Easy answers. The questions are always easy. The answers are hard. I'm not going to give you the answers. I'll give you some easy questions. Okay. Now, I'm going to start out in the subject you get the lowest scores in. Golf? No, not golf. <laughs> that would be a good thing. No, math. Oh, no, that's a little word. Uh, never mind. <laughs> so is golf. All right. So we'll do... <laughs> We'll do math. Now, if you had um, uh, $10 in this pants pocket uh -huh. and $10 in this pants pocket, uh -huh. what would you have? Someone else's pants on. <laughs> no, no, no. What? Yeah, it's yeah, funny. Oh, oh, rats. Try another. Okay. Games for 6000 600 You want games for 600 Um... Here's a game. What comes before six? Newspaper. No, not the newspaper. The evening press. Not the evening press. The press and sun bulletin. No, the newspaper does not come before... Yes, it does come before six. What I meant was what number comes before six? Five. What do you say? Five. 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 That's absolutely correct. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yeah, no, it's not. It is so. Not. Is. Not. Is. Not. What's the right answer? No, no. It's five. No. Five. All right, let, let's let's give Danny a break. Okay, what do you think comes before six? One, two, three, four, and five. All come before six. Uh, well, technically he's correct, you know. Uh, but we wanted the number that comes before six. Right. Okay, now one final question. We're going to let Danny go because you got a little studying to do before Santa Claus comes. If I had ten apples out in front of you uh -huh. and you ate nine of them, uh -huh. what would you have? Diarrhea. <laughs> I would. I'm telling you, I tried it once and I had diarrhea. I took care of the and cleared it right up. Well, you stop that. Look, why don't we let Danny go, okay? Bye. 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 All right, Danny, you study, okay? Bye. Bye. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, that should be about enough for today, right? You don't want to see anybody else, do you? Okay, you've been a great crowd. Thank you very much. Really? Uh, you could trade it for what's under door number one. My videotape. No? Well, if you want to learn ventriloquism, this is a good way. I found that true in the marketplace, too. It's usually the reception of my videos. Okay. This is that. I mean, oh, good, I see a dummy. What's that?
What's wrong? What's wrong, huh? You! You! I think it is what you got. <laughs> yes, okay, but, okay, gang. How would you like to, how would you like to talk with, with Egan here? Yeah, I'm Egan. This is Dina Dummy. No, I'm not the dummy. <laughs> no, he's not a dummy. He's a vanilla twist. <laughs> Whatever. I can't say ventriloquist. Hey, you just did. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Egan, Egan. Um... <laughs> You get excited about Christmas, don't you? Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Oh, great, great. Well, okay. You know, there's only four more days till Christmas. Now, have you have you trimmed your tree yet? No. You haven't trimmed your tree yet? No, it hasn't grown any yet. No, no. When someone says, have you trimmed your tree? Dean, it wasn't sun one, it was you. Your name is Dean. What'd you do, forget your name? No, when I said... Have you trimmed your tree? Yeah. I meant, have you decorated your tree yet? Oh, yeah. Good. I got all 20 presents to you and to everyone else hanging on it. 20 presents hanging on the tree? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's like the song. With presents on the tree. Yeah. Oh, that is a song, technically. Yeah, that is a song. I don't know how they ever got 20 presents on a tree. That is either one large tree Oh, those are small presents. Oh, I got a large tree. I like to do things in a big way. Oh, you do, huh? Yeah. I got a 20-foot pine tree. A 20-foot pine tree? Yeah. That's a big pine tree. But how, how, how did you get the suitcase? Oh, no, he has an apartment. It's just transportation. How did you, Sean, thank you, get that huge tree in your small apartment? Oh, it was a little tricky at first, but after I cut that hole in the ceiling, it fit just fine. You cut a hole in your ceiling for your tree? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Your landlord's going to love Christmas this year. Oh, he wanted a skylight, so I took care of that. Oh, I guess you did. <laughs> at least he got his skylight. Well, where in the world did you find a 20-foot pine tree for sale? Oh, my neighbor. Uh, who? John. John Coley, he's a nice guy. Funny looking. He's not funny looking. He wears a toupee. Yeah. <laughs> you can't tell it's a toupee. I guess you're right. Except for the elastic strap under his chin. <laughs> okay, the elastic strap gives it away a little bit. But he's a nice guy. So what do you give you? A 20 foot uh, uh, pine tree. Wow, 20 feet. Now I've heard 8 feet trees, 10 feet trees, but 20 feet. What do you charge you for something like that? A hundred and ten dollars. Yeah, he gave it to me real cheap. He gave it to you, all right. <laughs> uh, what? I, well, do you have enough outlets to make it bright? That's what I said. Oh, yeah. I made nice eggs Christmas. Yeah, that's for sure. You made nice eggs Christmas. Yeah, I'll bet you did. Exactly. Nice eggs is uh, lighting up your house this year, huh? Yeah. Oh, I love Christmas time. I love everything about it. Then I love Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Yeah, right. Uh, she's nice, isn't she? No, Hanukkah is a celebration. A <clears throat> Jewish celebration. Does anybody, did anybody here celebrate Hanukkah? You, you, you love to raise your hand, don't you? <laughs> did you? Did you really? <laughs> she didn't? All right, we'll skip right over that, okay? If you ever get a chance to learn about Hanukkah, that's very fascinating. Um, you know, with the, the menorah, the drill, you get learn about these things. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, but I'm ready to celebrate Christmas. How about you? Oh, yeah. What do you love about this season? Oh, you know what I love to do this season? What? <clears throat> Carolyn. Carolyn? Yeah, like to go on the streets and make music. Make music with Carolyn? Dean, you're listening to Sue, not Carolyn. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Oh. Caroling. Carolyn? Carolyn who? You know what a carol is? It's a girl's name, and your wife has a soup. No, I know. My wife's name is Sue. A carol is is a song. A song? Yes. It's it's a Christmas song. Like what? Well, uh, years ago, you see, a carol was uh, a Christmas song that had its spiritual message or meaning to it. Today, it's just about any song we sing at Christmas time. And um, it's when we sing in front of how people's houses, in front of stores. Oh, oh yeah, I love that. You do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Well, what's your favorite Christmas carol? Uh, uh, a Christmas song, right? 
Yes. What's your favorite Christmas song? I think it's uh, Ding Dong Merrily I Fly. What's <laughs> that Ding Dong Merrily I Fly? No, no, it's Ding Dong Merrily I'm High. Right. He gets high singing it. What is your favorite Christmas carol? Oh, I have a lot of favorites. See, do you hear what I hear? I'm not sure. What? I'm not sure I hear what you hear, because I don't know what you're hearing. I'm not hearing anything. Well, maybe you should have a hearing test. No, I don't need a hearing test. I can hear just fine. Then why did you say you weren't hearing anything? I, I said, do you hear what I hear? There you go again, and I don't know what you're hearing. <laughs> do you hear what I hear is a Christmas carol. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Then your ears are fine. And don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it, okay? Do you hear what I... I don't hear what you hear. <laughs> it's a Christmas carol. What is? Do you hear what I hear? It's a oh, I get it. Yeah, it goes like this. Good, give me an example. All right. Do you hear what I hear what I hear what I hear? What... I'll tell you what I hear. What? An echo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have another favorite? Oh, I have a lot of favorites. <clears throat> Let's see, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It sure is, got snow and all. Yeah, we do. But that's a Christmas carol that I really like. Do you have another one? Oh, yeah. I'll be home for Christmas. Well, so will I. But don't, don't, don't go changing the subject. Changing what subject? I want to know what your favorite Christmas carols are. I'll be home for Christmas. I, there he goes again. <laughs> That's right. It is a Christmas song. I'll be home for Christmas. You can count on me. Plan on me. You do know it. <clears throat> well, what is your favorite? Oh, I love Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to have ride in a one horse open the what? Play. <laughs> Who would want to do that? Slay what? Slay you? I wouldn't want to slay anything. <laughs> Not that kind of slay. A slay is the kind of. Have you guys ridden in a, in a horse-drawn slay? A carriage? Is that a lot of fun? No. I don't know. I haven't done it. Well, you should try it sometime. Boy, downtown Johnson City this year, we had this, this horse-drawn carriage slay, and uh, wait a minute, you were there. We rode in. Oh, that's right. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, silly so me. So, uh, but you love, you love Christmas, don't you? Oh, I do, I do, I do. What are the first favorite Christmas carols do you like? Oh, I like, Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let her be sin her king. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Okay, that's good enough, I think. They got the message. <laughs> wow. Do you know the 12 days of Christmas? I do. Not off the top of my head. Oh, please don't make me do that. You don't have to. I'll do it. You can rest. On the twelfth day of Christmas, a true love gave to me. Twelve drums are sounding. Eleven pipes are typing. Ten lords are leaping. Nine ladies dancing. Eight maids are milking. Come on, can't you sing it with me? Seven swans are swimming. Six geese are winning. I forget this one every time. Oh, it's the golden rings, right. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Yeah. That's a friend thing. You do. And a partridge family CD. That's right. I wouldn't mind having a partridge family CD. You're giving away your age. No problem there. <laughs> hey, do you know Santa Claus is coming to town? Yeah, but I wouldn't. Yeah, but I wouldn't ask him for all that junk. What junk? Partridge in a pear tree? Ten drummers drumming? Eleven pipers piping? Who wants that stuff? How about six lords a leaping? Not lately. You guys haven't asked for for six drummers drumming or whatever? Okay, how about nine ladies dancing? I think we have a few guys in the back that'll take that. <laughs> Well, everything else, maybe that's not what you asked for for Christmas, but Santa Claus is coming to town, and he's got a sleigh filled with lots of toys for boys and girls again. Do you know that song right down there? Which one? Here comes Santa Claus. Let's sing that one. Okay. 
Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. Right down Santa Claus Lane. What are you doing? Well, I had to swallow. Do you mind? Yes, I do. <laughs> you had plenty of time to swallow while I was singing. He still hasn't figured it out. <clears throat> he doesn't <laughs> He's got a sleigh filled with lots of toys for boys and girls again. Hear those sleigh bells jingle, jingle, oh, what a beautiful sight. <coughs> so jump in bed and cover your head, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Do you know that? No! <clears throat> you want to sing it? If I taught it to you? No! No! no. Oh, you just want to listen? Yeah! Oh, well, this is a song that you don't hear a whole lot. So let me tell you the other verses. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. He doesn't care if you're rich or poor, cause he loves you just the same. Santa knows that we're God's children, Make, makes everything bright. So fill your hearts with Christmas cheer, cause Santa Claus comes tonight, yeah. Hey, you wanna hear some more verses of that song? Yeah! <clears throat> Go ahead. Thank you. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. He'll come around when the chimes ring out, it's Christmas morning again. Peace on earth will come to all if we all follow the light. So let's give thanks to the Lord above, cause Santa Claus comes tonight, yeah. And then, here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, singing. What, with you? Yeah, at the same time. I don't think so, I think I might choke to death. Right down Santa Claus Lane, Vixen Blitzen and all his reindeer pulling on the reins. Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and right. So hang your stockings and say your prayers, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Yeah. Oh, he does? Yeah, well, not exactly, but in four days, huh? <laughs> hey, do you know Mark and Harold the Angels sing? No! Oh, it's not Mark and Harold. It's not Mark and Harold? Well then, who's Hark? Oh, it's Santa Claus! Oh, look at that! Wow, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane, and here he is. He's got a bag full of 